I think is very low, very disrespectful, and very classless for Jarrell Miller to be talking about Anthony Joshua's mum again in this particular context. I think from an ethical point of view, it's absolutely wrong. But from a tactical point of view, it might be absolutely right. Now, I'm not trying to justify it, but I'm just saying it might work, him talking about AJ's mum like this again. I think for Jarrell Miller to give himself the best chance of winning, he needs to try to get underneath AJ's skin and get him to fight an emotional fight. Take him off his game. AJ is normally a cool-headed fighter. Get him out of that. Get him upset. Again, I don't condone talking about the guy's mom at all. But it might actually work. Anthony Joshua is going to be fighting in the United States for the first time. When I saw AJ at the DAZN launch, to me, he did not look particularly comfortable. To me, he did look like a fish out of water. So, we need to find out how AJ is going to travel. The mind controls the body. How you feel emotionally can have a big impact on how your body is going to perform in the ring. He's going to be in New York, fighting a loudmouth New Yorker who's talking smack about his mum, who's going to have lots of fans cheering him on, talking smack to AJ just the way Miller is maybe talking about his mum too, it's not going to be the kind of environment that AJ's used to. AJ has grown accustomed to an environment where everybody or the vast majority of people love him. Whereas in New York, it may not be like that. And with this opponent, Jerome Miller, this is going to be the first time in a long time that he's come up against somebody who is being very disrespectful towards him. So I'm interested to see how AJ is going to cope with it. Once again, I'm not condoning what Jarrell Miller is doing or what he's saying about AJ's mum. But from a tactical point of view, it might actually work for him. And again, I want to see how AJ reacts to it because he has that box to tick in terms of can he do what he's doing right now in terms of the performances outside of his comfort zone in another guy's backyard. Can he do that? Remains to be seen. As I've said previously, Anthony Joshua will understandably be the favorite in this fight. And from a stylistic point of view, I can fully understand why there are so many people who don't give Jarrell Miller much of a chance. Because he is relatively stationary. I mean, he, he applies a lot of pressure, but in terms of him being able to evade punches, he's relatively stationary. He's an enormous target who's going to stand right in front of AJ and, be, and he's there to be hit. So I understand why people think that Miller might not last long, but on the flip side of that, if Miller can take or at least deflect Anthony Joshua's power, I think Miller's pressure and Miller's work rate could potentially give Anthony Joshua a hell of a lot of problems. So it really depends on Miller's chin and his defense in terms of whether I think he's going to have any chance of winning this fight. If he can take Joshua's power or deflect it, I think Joshua's in for a very, very tough night because I'm not convinced by Anthony Joshua's stamina even now. Even now he's slimmed down a bit. I'm still not convinced by his stamina. Uh, I think potentially there could be some anxiousness there with AJ fighting in New York, in America for the first time, and that could impact his stamina. So, you know, I'm not 100% convinced by uh, AJ's gas tank yet. I know he's pacing himself better in fights now. But if somebody really pushes him, if somebody's on top of him, making him work, like Miller tends to do to opponents, will AJ be able to cope with that? You know, it, it, to me, it really all does come down to AJ's ability to hurt Jarrell Miller, to keep him honest. If he can't hurt him, if he can't keep him honest, do you really think AJ can box and punch constantly on the back foot and just out-slick Jerome Miller for 12 rounds. I personally can't see that. Maybe I'm wrong, but I personally can't see it. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about Jerome Miller once again talking about 
AJ's mum, you know, wh- when he's talking, at, when he's saying stuff about AJ being a playboy model and all this kind of business, I find that hilarious. You know, all that stuff to me is entertaining. But when you're bringing people's mums into it, that's very low, very low. But it may just work for him. Let me know how you guys feel about it in the comment section below. It's happening, I'm out. Join me on Patreon. I upload a minimum of two podcasts every single week covering a wide variety of controversial topics as well as live stream Q&A sessions. Take a look on screen right now at some of the podcasts I've produced so far. For just $3 a month, the equivalent of about £2 a month, you get access to all my new podcasts and my entire back catalogue of past podcasts including my popular Confessions of a Nightclub Bouncer series. You can listen on your computer or on your smartphone or tablet by downloading the Patreon app from the Google Play Store or the App Store for free. The Patreon app also allows you to download each podcast in MP3. For less than the price of a cup of coffee, you get access to dozens of hours of exclusive content. It's easy to sign up, there's no contract, and you can cancel at any time. So come and join our community of free and critical thinkers by signing up with me here on Patreon today.